today's lesson is 8-6 surface area of prisms. So we're going to think about prisms that we talked about. We talked about rectangular prisms. We talked about triangular prisms. Those are the types of things we're talking about today. We're not talking about pyramids. That's going to be later on. So just prisms. So what is surface area? Surface area is the sum of all the areas of the surfaces. So basically if you find the area of all the surfaces of the figure and add them together, that's the surface area. So I kind of have a little thing down here. It says basically if you're going to cover something with wrapping paper, how much paper would it take? That's how you can think of surface area. If I was going to cover all of the surfaces of an object, how much is it going to take? So surface area is the um, sum of all the areas that are in the figure. So how are we going to do this? So here's an example of a rectangular prism. Now I'm going to tell you many times that it, you have to be organized, really, really, really organized. So what I did is I first started by making a list of the sides that I have here. I said I have a top and a bottom, so I consider my top and my bottom like my top and my bottom would be down here. And then I have my sides, which should be over here, and I have two of them, by the way. And I'm going to call them side A and B. Okay. And then we'll call this one A and we'll call this one B. And then I have a front and a back. So my front would be like this big front one right here. And my back would be this right here. So try to imagine this in your head. It's kind of like some of the boxes that we measured the other day. Kind of like the Rice Krispie box, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start by finding the area of the side. So first we're going to do, we're going to look at the top. So the top is right here. So I want you to tell me, what are the dimensions of my top? I see 5 here, and then i got to find the dimensions of this. And if this is 30 down here, that means this is 30 here. So the top is 3 times 5. Fifth, uh, I'm sorry, let's take that back. My top is 5 times 30. Okay. My bottom is going to be the same. Now let me outline my bottom so you can see it. The bottom is here. And it should be the same dimensions as the top. So if this is 5, my bottom is 5 times 30. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to find the answers here. So I know 5 times 30 is 150. I have 150 here also. So I'm going to look at my sides. Okay, let's look at side A. I'm going to make this side A. And I'm going to look at my dimensions of this side. So I know, and I have to kind of think about what I have here on my picture. I know that this is going to be 5, and then I have to know what this is. And if this is 24, this has to be 24 here. So I know side A is 5 times 24. And my other side should be the exact same, 5 times 24. Okay, I'm going to use my calculator to figure that out. So 5 times 24 is 120. So I know this is 120, and I know this is the same thing too as 120. Now my front and my back, I'm going to outline those. So I would say this is my front right here. What are the dimensions of my front? My dimensions would be 30 by 24. So my front is 30 by 24. And I know the back, which is here, is going to be the same dimensions. Because of the, fr the front and the back have to be the same. Otherwise, it's not going to be a rectangular prism very easily. So... 30 times 24. So I'm going to do some multiplication here, and I'm going to take 30 times 24, and I get 720. So this is 720, this is 720. Now, I have found all the areas of my surfaces. So I'm going to just uh, circle them. I have 150 and 150. Those are my top and my bottom. I have 120 and 120 for my sides. I have 720 and 720 for my front and my back. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add them all together, plus 720, plus 720. Adding them all together will tell me the surface area of all of these. And I have all together 1,980. This would be centimeters. This would be squared because we're talking about just the area. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, so here's another. Uh, it looks just like what we did before. So I kind of want you to start thinking and thinking about what I did. The first thing I did is I started listing what I have. I have a top and a bottom. And the reason why I put the top and the bottom together in one spot is because most likely they're going to have the same dimensions. That's why I put them together. Then I have my sides, and you can list them A and B. 
And then I have my front and my back. And like I said, I put them together because most likely they have the same dimensions. Okay? And you don't have to have them in this order. You can do front and back first. You can do top and bottom last. It doesn't really matter as long as you have it all and you have all the dimensions correct. It shouldn't matter. We should just come up with the same answer. So let's talk about the top and the bottom. Here's my top. Okay, so my dimensions here are 5, and then I have to figure out what this is. And if I know this is 10, this has to be 10. So I know my top and my bottom are 5 times 10. That's my top. My bottom will be the same thing. And remember, they're only going to be the same thing when it's a rectangular prism. All right, next one would be sides. So my sides are here. Okay, this one and this one. Oop, there we go. And it looks like my sides are 5 times 8. Okay, front and back. Let's erase this. Okay, so my front would be here. All right, so my front will be 10 by 8. And on my back, oop, yep, it's going to be the same thing, 10 by 8. Okay, now we're going to do all the math. Okay. And we're going to figure out, so this is 50, this is 50, this is 40, this is 40, this is 80, this is 80. So we're going to take all those numbers in blue, and we're going to add them all together. So 50, so 100, plus 80, plus 116. So all together, I came up with 340 feet squared after I added all those together. All right, let's try a different type of shape, shall we? All right, so this is a triangular prism. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at this, and I see, want to see what kind of sides I have here. So first of all, I know I have triangles. Okay, and the triangles are most likely the same. And I can see that all my sides to my rectangles, because I have three rectangles in here. I have one here, I have one back here, and then I have one on my bottom. So I have three rectangles. So I'm going to write three rectangles. And I only can put them together in the same group because they have the same dimensions. They aren't always going to have the same dimensions. All right, so let's talk about the triangles first. So I know triangles, remember my area is base times height divided by 2. So let's just look at the one triangle. Okay, so what's my base of that triangle? It would be 5. My height would be here, and that's 3.5 divided by 2, okay, so let's do that, 5 times 3.5 divided by 2, so I know one triangle is 8.75, but I have two of them, so I know my other, my back one, is also 8.75, because it's the same dimensions, so this could be technically my front, and my back triangle. So I have two of them. Okay? All right, so let's talk about my rectangles. I know I have a rectangle, so let's find what one rectangle is. And let's just look at this one. Okay, so my rectangle here, so if this is, I'm looking at this one here, this isn't going to be three and a half, it's going to be five. Because if this is five and this is five, I know that this is also five. So five times, I'm going to look at this bottom here. And that's by 18. So 5 times 18 is 90. So I know one rectangle is 90. So I have one that's 90, another that's 90, and another that's 90 because I have three rectangles in here, the sides and the bottom. So now I'm going to start adding everything together. I'll do my rectangles. It was 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus, uh, i got to do my... 8.75 for one rect or triangle and 8.75 for the other triangle. And I got 287.5 inches squared. So again, it's really important to be organized. If you aren't, you're not going to know what you did and what you didn't do. Or if you have something already accounted for that you maybe didn't think of. So it's important to keep track of what you're doing here. Let's do one more. 
All right, here's another one. Um, I have a lot of things in here. First of all, let's talk about our triangles. So triangles, we'll talk about the uh, front and back. Okay, now I'm looking here, and I have a lot of different dimensions. I have a lot of different rectangles here. So I have one on the bottom. I have one on the side. This is what I mean by the side. And then I have a slanty side that's on the other side. And it's kind of hard to imagine, but here's my slanty side here. Oop, there it is right there. So I'm going to list these all differently because I can tell that they all have different dimensions. So let's do, um, we'll do the left side. Okay, and what I mean by left side is here. Okay. So we're going to count that as the left side. We'll do the bottom. And then we'll do the right slanty side. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Right slanty side would be right here. So it's kind of on the opposite side we're not seeing. All right. So let's start with the triangles, shall we? So I'm going to start with this one right here. And I know they're going to be the same front and back. So base times height divided by 2. So my base would be 12 right here. My height's going to be here. But if I know it's not there, but I know if this is 9 over here, this has to be 9. Okay, so we're going to figure out what 1 of them is. So 12 times 9 divided by 2. 1 is going to be 54. So my front will be 54 and my back will be 50. Oops, I put 55. Oops. 54 will be the back. Okay. And then let's talk about the left side. So what I mean by left side is this right here. So it's a rectangle. It's just a slanty because we're just seeing at a different angle here. So if I want to look at that dimension, it's 30 by 9. That's going to be 270. Okay. The bottom, the hardest part is going to be finding the dimensions here. This is the bottom. So I know it's 12 by 30. So 12 times 30 is 360. Okay. And then the right slanted side is going to be the hardest side. So this is going to be a dimension. And this is going to be a dimension. So I have 15, and if I know this side is 30, that this other side has to be 30. So 15 by 30. 15 times 30 is 450. All right, we're going to add all these together. So we're going to do my triangles, 54 plus 54 plus 270 for my left side, plus 360 for my bottom, plus 450 for my slanty side. And let's add all those together. So 454 plus 54 plus 270 plus 360 plus 450. And I have 1,188 inches squared. Okay. So all I'm asking today is do your best. Stay organized. If you don't stay organized, you're not going to know what you did, what you didn't do, what numbers you're accounted for. And so it's just really easy to keep yourself co organized and coordinated like I've done with all of my problems. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, try a few yourself. And we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to talk about it again. So thanks for watching till the end. And come tomorrow with your questions. We'll see you then.